What up, what up, Winboys here. And did you know that we can make motion graphics like this in Unreal Engine all in real time? And that's exactly what we're about to create. So to get started, we're gonna to come to the Unreal Engine project browser. We're gonna come down here to film, video, and live events. Let's click on this. And then we wanna come over here to where it says motion design template. And we're gonna create a new project starting with that. And when you're inside of Unreal Engine 5.6, you wanna make sure you come up here to the top left-hand corner where it says selection mode. You wanna come down here to motion design. And then you wanna come over here in the middle where it says motion design, click on this as well. And then one last thing, come right here to where it says create defaults, left click on this. And then we wanna add everything into our scene by clicking spawn, and now we're ready to rock. So on the left hand side where it says cloners, you wanna left click on this, and then we're gonna pick the one right here This is sphere random. Double click on this, and now we're gonna have some cloners appear in the middle of our viewport. But let's pick something that's a little bit more interesting than some cubes. So again, over on the left hand side under 3D shapes, we wanna left click here, and then we're gonna double click on sphere, now we'll see a sphere happen in the middle of our viewport, but over here on the right hand side, we have our motion design outliner. We're going to delete the default clone cube here, and then we're going to put the sphere underneath our cloner. So now we have a bunch of spheres inside of our viewport. Now this is where the magic happens. So over here in your details panel, make sure you have the cloner selected, but we want to come down here to where it says emission. You want to left click on this, and then right here where it says lifetime, you want to click on this as well. Now you notice inside the viewport, everything disappeared. But if we come back over here under spawn, under emission mode where it says once, we're gonna left click on this, and then we're gonna click on infinite. Now we can see that's starting to move like a particle emitter. Now, if you wanna make these last a little bit longer, down here under max, we're gonna put this up to like 10 seconds. So now they're gonna stay on the screen a lot longer. And then down here under lifetime again, where it says scale enable, you wanna click on this box. And this is gonna give us a more particle-like function here where the sphere's gradually going back into infinity. But down here under template, again, we're under lifetime. We left click right here to where it says click expand toolbar. You'll see that we have a couple of templates down here. And this is my favorite one right here, the pulse output. We're gonna left click on this. So I'm gonna click inside of my viewport to activate it. And now we're starting to get that function that we saw in my example there. But we might notice that they're also not colliding with each other. So again, with my cloner selected, we want to come over here to the box that says physics and then we have two options here in which we're going to turn both of these on and that's basically it so leave me a comment down below if you found this helpful and also if i went too fast for you i do have a long form horizontal tutorial all you have to do is go to my profile to activate that and until next time stay fresh keep creating and i catch you in the next video i see you soon take care